Yesterday had all the makings of an unproductive day. My alarm went off and I hit the snooze button for the first time in weeks. I think that the first thing that you do every morning sets the tone for the rest of the day. That's why I try and start every morning productively. But when you hit the snooze button, you start the day by giving up. For me, this has a snowball effect. By the time that I get out of bed, my schedule has already been derailed, so what can it hurt to fall a little bit more behind? To be clear, it's not that I was actually tired or that I really needed the rest. I've been sleeping well, and I was honestly genuinely excited to do fun work yesterday. Um, and you can see that in my previous video. I just sabotaged myself. And so it would have been really easy to just write the day off yesterday. But I had things to do, I had goals to achieve. And I think most importantly though, there were people that were holding me accountable to those goals. If I didn't make a video, then you guys, the audience, would hold me accountable for that. You'd wonder where the video was, and I would break the streak that I'm holding myself accountable for right now, which I think is at 10 days now. And if I didn't go to my workout, well, my friends and, and my coaches would hold me accountable to that. And so I had to snap out of it. So I, I made a video, I edited it and I uploaded a video, and you know, it wasn't, wasn't a masterpiece, but uh, it wasn't awful. And I went to my workout and I crushed it. And that was my goal. And you know, it was tough, but mentally I just, I'd made the decision, you know what, there are people holding me accountable to this. I'm gonna hold myself accountable to this. And I am not gonna give up on this. And so I feel like this is an important video to make because I think people have this unrealistic notion about my ability to fight off unproductivity. It, it, it's like people think that there's an innate ability that some people have and some people don't. Um, and that's not true, because productivity is not a skill. To me, I see productivity as being a, a state of mind that's triggered by external factors. And you can control those factors. But I want to also make a note that it's really, really important that you actually listen to your body on this. Okay, because if you're not getting enough sleep, then you will not be able to do productive focused work at all, okay? That's just a fact of life, um, especially if you're working out. If you are working out and you're not getting eight to nine hours of sleep a night, then you're just falling further and further behind. And in my opinion, on nine hours of sleep, I can do in one hour what I could do in two hours on six hours of sleep, okay? That's a really big difference because that means that it only takes three hours of focused work to catch up. And so I think a lot of people have this misconception about sleeping being a waste of time. It's not, because you're more productive when you're well rested. I guess that's my secret to, to productivity. If you put yourself in a, in a position, first of all, where you're physically capable of doing focused work, where you're well rested, you're eating well, you're exercising, and if you understand the, the factors that, that trigger you into productivity, so what makes you want to work hard? What makes you want to just chase your goals when you wake up in the morning? So what works for you? And having other people keep you accountable to that is super important as well. Because you need to be hungry for work. You need to have other people that keep you hungry for that work. And I think that if you do that, you can gradually set bigger and bigger goals and accomplish them in less time and just generally be more productive.